Quality Pulse has several use cases which it adds value to an organization. I'll give four as an example here. First, occurs very often a company is undertaking a quality systems improvement initiative in which they're revising their procedures and systems. It may be driven by a regulatory audit, an internal audit, continuous improvement, adoption of new technical software, quality related software, any number of things can drive that change in the system change. The culture needs to change along with that, particularly if it's a significant pivot. Quality Pulse can help you understand what your current culture is and if there are any changes that need to be made to that culture. Make sure things are clearly explained to individuals, they understand and buy in, therefore their behaviors and the culture will change accordingly. Second, for startup companies or even larger mid-sized companies who are facing a significant scale change. You have to scale up systems to accommodate new volume, growth in the organization, etc. Scaling those systems oftentimes results in change in those systems. What's appropriate at small scale may not be appropriate at large scale. How do you align your culture, your employees' belief systems, those belief systems translate into behaviors, behaviors translate into culture. How do you make sure that stays in alignment as you adjust the systems? Quality Pulse is very helpful in that. Third, merger and acquisition. Here you're bringing two cultures together that may be very healthy, but they may be very different as well. As you consolidate and reconcile differences between systems, you also need to do the same thing with culture. Understand where you're coming from and understand where you want to go. Quality Pulse can give you an insight into both those starting cultures and help you define where you want that ending culture to be. Finally, a company under stress. That stress can be driven by two major uh, drivers. One is regulatory action. You may have an audit you're responding to. You may have uh, an inspection that wasn't good or even worse, you may even have some regulatory action. Those types of stressors on the quality system side often drive rapid change and a level of oversight that may not be present in non-stress conditions. That impacts culture and how people behave. How do you address culture in conjunction with that will determine how quickly you can return to a normal state of operations as that stress is addressed. Similarly, if a company is going through a financial stress, whatever it may be, there may be a gap year, there may be other drivers that are driving that squeezing of budgets, which oftentimes can send signals to individuals that quality is less important. How you can navigate those waters and meet business results without eroding confidence in your quality culture and your quality systems is something Quality Pulse can help you navigate.